We have a lot of great content in our videos, don't we? But sometimes there's so much, well, people can't recall all of it, let alone act on all of it. So what might be some strategies that we can employ to help people remember more of our video content? Obviously, storytelling is probably the most basic of all ideas. Now, that's because stories add context to the concepts and makes it feel real. I admit that's an area of improvement for me, and I'm going to focus an entire video on storytelling in the future. But here are two quick ways that we can increase the retention of our videos. On my longer training videos, there's often several different concepts. Now, and that's because so many of my clients are trying to get so much content into them. I mean, think about something like a, a new employee orientation. Even with chunking, there's a lot of content to cover. So what I like to do is I create a single page job aid for each video. Now, this summarizes the key points of the video and takes the passiveness of watching a video and it makes it more tangible. It doesn't have to cover everything. It's a supplement to the video, but it's designed to help them recall the stories and perhaps some of the key procedures. I do this for clients and even for some of my own videos, like my rapid training video production process. Here's a great job aid on that. Now, this is also useful with podcasts, too. For example, after listening to a podcast for 30 minutes on the drive into the office, it's nice to have a cheat sheet with all the key points and resources to refer back to. I mean, let's face it, we can't take notes when we're driving. A second strategy is to incorporate reflective questions into the presentation to help your viewers internalize and visualize acting on your ideas. This is so different from testing people. I mean, first of all, adults don't like being tested. They hate it. But second, this isn't about a right or wrong answer. This is about getting your viewer to think about how they will apply your ideas. I know training purists hate this because they can't quantify a score, but whatever happened to critical thinking so on your next video, where can you interject some questions? Where can you have your viewer pause the video and maybe go do something? Or how might you combine this with the written job aid and say on the back of it, have them strategize about implementing your ideas? You know, see what I just did here? There are definitely other ways to increase video retention, but I found job aids and reflective questioning to both be very effective techniques. And if you're interested in selling more by teaching more with video, make sure you sign up for my list down below so I can keep you up to date with all my latest videos. Hey, thanks for watching.